Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The MK Lady. Well, today I use the Whitney shoulder bag in the color black with the gold tone hardware. And I took it to work and I took it to a few stores. I had to do some running around this morning as well. And I did find it very convenient with these two shoulder straps. Now, even when I put it down, I'll show you what I mean. Even when I put it down on the counter, the straps did go side by side and they didn't, um, they didn't drape out or away from the purse, if that makes any sense. I mean, you could store your chains like this when you're carrying and putting it down. But like I said, when you're carrying it, you want to put it up in this sense right here, like this. So it is a small, it is a smaller bag. Now I wanted to show you, this is the Whitney medium. And so they are in about the same as depth and they are in the same in width. But this one is just a tad taller in the points of the M right there. So, and I did, it doesn't have any closure except for this little strap here. And it is quite small, like it would be comparable to the Whitney medium, but not the Whitney large. And this one says it's a shoulder chain tote, but this is not a tote. It's actually, it's, it's the size of the medium Whitney, which is really, really small. So I'll just go ahead and show you what I have inside. So I do have my makeup bag and my seven inch wallet. And I wanted to try and show you the tag if I can get it out there. Oh, I don't know if it's going to reach out, but uh, let's see. Ah, that's upside down. It's stuck onto the side there. So I'll just go ahead and show you. I still have a wrap on the zipper. I was just so excited to use it. So on the inside, you do have two big sections, which I'll show you, and a middle zip section. Now, I'm not sure exactly what, oh, and the dust bag. The dust bag is right in the middle. I'm not exactly sure what you would use the middle compartment, maybe to stick money or something like that. So on this side, it does have one zip compartment. And on this side, it has one slip compartment, but it's not very big and I'll show you in a minute. I'll just put my stuff back in there. So my seven inch, make a bag. I'll stuff that in the front. And then my seven inch Mercer wallet. I'll stuff that in the back. And let's see here. So basically that is all you can fit inside. There's not very much room. It's a very small purse. And remember how I said there's a front slip compartment there? Well, I just want to show you. So if I take my husband's iPhone 8 Plus, that's what it looks like sticking out the top. And then I wouldn't be able to close it even with that. So I'd have to stick it into one of the sections of the purse just like that. And even if I take my regular iPhone 6, it does still stick out the top. I mean, it is closable and I can close it, but as you can see, the iPhone sticks out the top a little bit, but it is closable. So then I would just slip, say the phones on the side in the first section there. So I did want to show you guys that. And I did find some of these clasps, the pyramid stud hardware can be a little finicky and I have to push them in a little bit. But other than that, I think it's a very beautiful purse. It's nice, smooth leather. It does indent on the side here. And these chains, they can get a little twisted at times, I find. 
so I have to be super careful about that. Other than those two few little issues, I do really like this and I am going to have it in my collection. It's so nice and so soft. It does have structure though and that's what I do like about it as well. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, The MK Lady. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so every time I upload a video, you will get notified. And have a great rest of your day. Bye!